way to Kumatuli. I wanted to stop at some puja mondo just to show you that how different the pujas could be. I mean, the themes are quite uniquely different. So let's see how the how the inside decorations are. I think the theme is based on some sort of Bollywood theme. There are some original film they made cartoons of, and uh, so there are some CDs and and so I think the whole theme is about Bollywood movies and uh, old time film industry. And these hanging strips are actually holding Indian postcards. So we, when we were children. We used to write on these postcards. They were the cheapest way of communicating with your families and friends. And so they have used these old postcards as decorative materials. And this is the Durga idol, Durga Pratima. Obviously, she is standing with her four children, Ganesh, Lokhi, Saraswati and Kartik. And she has this bahon or the animal carries her, it's the lion, killing the Oshu, bad part of the society. The suburb of Kumatuli is actually in old part of Kolkata and as you can see the roads are so narrow and so we, it will be very interesting to go through these narrow roads. We are at Shantushmitra Square, we are trying to walk through the different uh, gates, the decorative gates to reach the Mondo and hopefully it will be fantastic. Let's see. On our way to the Puja Mondo in Shantashmitra Square, we saw there's a, a fish market, a roadside fish market, fresh fish market. These are fresh Bombay ducks. Probably I'm going to do just a few, only few, maybe two, three puja mandaps uh, every morning. And uh, but this is normally we used to do for like 50 sometimes overnight, going around and walking for long distance, seeing through different puja mandaps and enjoying the theme and different lightings. This is an art festival. In my view, although it's a religious festival, as I mentioned, but it's more of an art festival across the city. The actual Durga Puja is still like 3-4 days away. Everything is in decoration mode. We are at Shantushmitra Square Puja and uh, you see in my background they are building uh, the other part of the, the Puja Mondop. Probably there will be some VIPs and the guests will be sitting there and there will be some cultural performances. And uh, as I mentioned they use um, bamboo sticks and cotton pieces to make these structures and look at the people are actually still working and uh, because it's still a few more days to go before the puja starts on 20th of October and, uh, and it's just extraordinary how they built all these huge structures and the temple that you have seen the main mondo with these biodegradable materials because it's only last for seven days maximum and then everything will be dismantled and uh, preserved for to be to be reused in the next year's puja. So it's just a, a amazing social circle that continues for hundreds of years, maybe if not thousands. This is a replica of Ram Mandir, northern India. There is a place called Ajodha and they are building a new Ram Mandir. This uh, panel is a replica of that planned Ram Mandir in Ajodha. And it's the life-size replica of the actual 
temple they are building and it's just amazing. It's basically a temporary structure they built with all these materials as I mentioned and it looks life size and the finish is so decorative, so perfect. It almost looks like original temple. So this structure of this Ram Mandir based temple is just extraordinary. Now I'll go inside and see how the Durga Pratima or the actual idol is. Look at the Durga idol, it's so gorgeous, it's huge, beautifully constructed and artistic masterpiece. Look at the detailed artwork and the sculptures on the wall and the ceiling. It's just extraordinary. And it's all been done just for a week to worship and celebrate art and culture. And it's just an amazing time. So how do you find the puja? This very and exotic. Yeah, it's, we, did, we haven't seen the real temple, but it Replicates. <laughs> and uh, what about the interior decorations? This the detailed uh, artwork. I hope that it will be. Fine. It could have been better. Oh, okay. <laughs> so it could have been better. The finish is not uh, yeah, absolutely vertical, perfect. But vertical lines are not well maintained always. Okay. So it drastic. should have been done. Though it is made of thermocol, it could be very much more perfect. Look at this guy, it's a pool rickshaw wala. He pulls this rickshaw and carries people around. I think you only get this in central Calcutta. I mean, there are a lot of issues and people say that, okay, it shouldn't be a profession. But of course, it's a profession. People aren't there living. Sometimes it is, it is a hard walk, pulling two or three people at once. From Shantosh Mitra Square, I came to Chanapurti. There is a famous place where there's a hundreds of shops who are only selling paneer, Indian and Bengali paneer, freshly made every day. So I'm going to buy about 500 grams of paneer, this fresh, we call it Chana, and we're going to make some curries later on. So we're buying some fresh paneer, about 600 grams, and so, yeah. And this, this yellow things are called kwok here. And these are freshly made ghees, clarified butter. These are very good. They're very nice, tasty, especially for palaos and biryanis. From Shantashmitra Square, and we have, as you have seen, that we bought some paneer. It's a fresh, that's called chana putti. They make chana, is, is, uh, chana is basically cottage cheese, Indian cottage cheese. And so from here, we're going to another puja mandap, which is also very famous central Calcutta puja called College Square Puja. And uh, so that one, and then after that, we have a plan to buy some sweets, a shop called Nakur which is also a central Calcutta um, sweet shop, Bengali sweet shop and it's it has got probably over 200 years of history. So hopefully we'll be able to buy some traditional sweets from Nukur. My left hand side you can see this is Calcutta Medical College. It's the one of the oldest medical college in Kolkata. It's I have to check the history and uh, so people do study here MBBS and it's one of the largest uh, public funded uh, hospital in Kolkata. This is the second gate of the medical college, number two gate and it has a very big campus in the heart of central Calcutta. This is the entrance to the college square puja and uh, hopefully we will be able to drive through most of the way and it's very similar structure as the Shantashmitra square, the previous puja that you have seen 
and uh, it has got all these decorative uh, gates. So we're entering the College Square Puja Mondo. This is a special place for young students and graduates because because this is called College Square just because there is different colleges like Presidency College, Calcutta University, as you have seen the Medical College, all are based here. So this is almost like an academic area of Calcutta and old Calcutta. My father wants to explain something very important here, so I'll pass over to him. Members of the 49th Bengali Regiment who died in the Great War 1914 to 1990. It's a glory to Bengali people fought international war first time. Look at the decoration of College Square Puja. It's a diff completely different from what you have seen so far. It's just amazing. I'm going to show a very interesting part of the College Square area. There is a big pond here. And around this pond, there are all these universities and colleges are situated. The lighting across this area, around this big pond, is just extraordinary. But you have to come at the night time to see the lighting and it will be extremely crowded during the pujas so I don't know whether we can come back. The University Centenary Building, Calcutta University That Centenary white building? building. That yeah. white building? Okay. Yeah. Darbanga Building, Calcutta University. This okay. Side, left hand side, that is Darbanga Building. Okay. It's also a very old building. Mm. So that's the Darbanga Building of Calcutta University. So we are now driving through a street called College Street and uh, these are like a place where you have thousands of old bookstores and new bookstores and all these universities and colleges surrounded by this area. All the students come here buying their books every year and uh, you, if you want to buy old books they can buy second hand old books and as you can see all, these are all bookstores side by side. Uh, it's, a, it's a fascinating place like when if you're a student in Kolkata you must come here and you you always come here to buy your books or your exercise books and yeah it's very nostalgic place these days perhaps people also buy many things online from Amazon and few other portals so I doubt how many actually come physically buying old books but still it's exist the business are doing well I guess because they're surviving so definitely College Street is going to last forever. Look at on the left hand side all these fresh canes and actually they are ready to be juiced. So fresh cane juice is a very popular thing because in Kolkata it's mostly hot and humid. On our way from College Square, we just saw Shami Vivekananda's house. This hoarding here says that this is Shami Vivekananda's ancestral house and cultural center. This is the statue of Shami Vivekananda. Look at this old house. These are historic old houses in central Calcutta. As you can see, there's a trees growing across this whole building. But uh, look at the structure. These are very traditional old house. Once upon a time, this house could have been a very good, very rich people's house with a lot of activities. Now it's just a ruin, but still a lot of families and people actually live inside. There are many houses like these. We learned that some of these are getting demolished to build new apartments. But still, these are very iconic uh, features of Kolkata, which is a city nearly 400 years old. We just arrived at the Nopur Mishti shop that I mentioned. It's one of the oldest and very famous sweet shop in Kolkata. And we're definitely going to buy some traditional sweets, which you only get in this shop. And the appearance doesn't say much, but they are here doing business over 200 years. And we're going to buy some sweet and try later on. And so this is a historic thing that uh, if you are visiting Kolkata, you should try these sweets from this Nopur.
This is the white round shaped uh, shandesh that I was talking about. These are all very hard. We call it korapa. And this is the best one that you can try from this shop. After a while, we have arrived at the Bagbaja Sharbojan in Durgot shop. That, this is one of the most famous pujas in Kolkata. And uh, probably this is going to be our last stop. Uh, we might try Muhammad Ali Park. This is another one, but I'm not sure. It's getting busier, but we'll definitely look around the, this uh, Bagbaja Sharbojan in Puja Mondok. And hopefully it will be grand. Entrance to all of these big pujas are very similar because you have this all these bamboo structures and decorative gates that you need to go through The puja at this Bagbaja Sharbojanin is one of the most famous pujas in Kolkata and look at this structure It's uh, it's Belur Mot. Belur Mot is uh, another attraction in Kolkata and uh, this is, they have made a rep replica of Belur Mot. Look at this Durga idol. It's completely different style so far as you have seen. It's very wide. This is a very traditional way of decorating Durga. And Bagbaja Sharbojan in Puja is famous for this particular decoration. Look at the interior decorations of this Puja Mondo. It's equally good like the other ones that we have seen and this so gorgeous it's a celebration of artwork the puja is still a few days to go but as you can see there's so many people are gathering together to watch these artistic decorations and this extraordinary durga idol of bagbaja sharbojanin These are called fuchka or pani puri and these are very famous, very popular street food snacks that we normally have and these are obviously you know pani puri and the hawkers are selling pani puri and they have this extra bit storage here in case because it is going to be extremely busy and so they have made some this puff pani puri puffs so that they need to sell for whole evening whole afternoon and evening so they're they have a huge stock supply for this puja it's a fair and yeah obviously there is like a different uh, activities you can do obviously it hasn't started yet so it's going to be extremely busy in next few days time so guys this is the belur mart at paliganj sharbojani i would like to show you something else it's very interesting this is called benarashi betel shop it's the sweet pan shop we normally have bengalis normally have this after dinner or lunch as a mouth freshener and you can see that these are the sweet pans it has got a lot of sweet spices inside and the fresh pans they're made to be sold and they're kept on the ice block <laughs> 